Hi, this is Ian at Will Computer Services. Uh, today I've got a MacBook. Uh, the customer says that uh, it will work off the DC, off the DC adapter, but it won't work off the battery. I've had the adapter in for a few minutes now, so I'm going to disconnect. And we'll try and switch it on off the battery. enough we're not getting anything so let's pop power in just make sure that we are working So most likely we've got a problem with um, the motherboard in my, in my view, uh, going by what the uh, customer has told me. He um, feels that uh, he might spill a drink in there and he might have some uh, damage due to that. So we're going to uh, do a disassembly, check for any wash damage, try and repair that wash damage and uh, Hopefully we'll have this uh, back up and running very shortly. Um, I've explained, you know, if, if uh, we can't restore it, if we can't repair it, um, they don't want to buy a new motherboard, um, but they want to have a go. I've uh, told them, obviously, um, there'll be no charge if I if I can't get it back to work in condition. So if, uh, if you move the battery then sorry it's just showing that. <coughs> okay, let's uh start with uh with a few fillet head screwdriver uh, screws here. Okay, so we're just removing the screws from the back case and uh, from the back and the sides. Tried to lift the keyboard out, but it's held by screws that are in the battery uh, well, <coughs> around the side of the battery well. We're just undoing the uh, the logic, uh, sorry, the um, ribbon cables there for the the mouse, power button, etc. <coughs> and now we're taking the screws out from inside the battery well. There were like about a dozen. That's the RAM cover that's on the inside of the, the battery well. We removed that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Just looking for any more screws that might be in there because uh, that wasn't coming up freely. I've got it I think I've just been too gentle with it so I pushed it through from the other side rather than trying to jimmy it out And that's the touchpad 
the palm rest. There was some wall damage on the back of the keys keyboard. We're just looking for any water damage, any corrosion. We can't see any moving there. Uh, anything that could be in the way out of the way. There was quite a lot of uh, dust and hair and bits and pieces inside there so I made the decision to uh, brush it quite thoroughly to give it a good, good cleaning. So here we go. You'll see when I show the camera again the colour difference how much brighter the blue is of the motherboard. Oh, maybe not, it's a bit quick, there we go. I'm just describing that so there's that the heat sink that I was showing there. Um where there was a little bit of looked like uh, evaporated moisture on it. I think that any moisture that got in went straight on top of the heat sink and boiled off. There was no um there was no uh, corrosion around the edges, so I didn't feel the need to take the heat sink out um, we're just trying to examine where the uh, battery connection is here to see if there's a fault on the battery connection well, there's some tape obscuring my view so I moved the tape, had a look, I couldn't see any damage. Now the lad that gave me this job um, did say that he felt that the it wasn't working off the battery due to a motherboard problem and didn't want to replace that motherboard um, for the you know for the cost of quite an old machine. Um, I told him I would have a look and if I could mend it then obviously pay me pay for the service um, but if I couldn't get it working better than it was um, obviously it wouldn't cost him anything I'm just cleaning the back of the keyboard up there and now it's just a case of uh, replacing the RAM cover now the uh, reattaching the ribbon cables which is just uh, underneath that sticky pad and then replacing that dozen screws that go around the inside of the battery well and then replacing the battery incidentally I did check the battery at a later time I found that the battery wasn't making the discharge. So well, that could be down to uh, it not uh, being charged correctly by the laptop or it needs a new battery. Everything feels okay. Press the power button. And as we thought was likely, not getting any life. Never mind. You know, like I said at the start, we didn't expect this one to spring to life. We hoped it would, but there we are. Still works with the power, so. Just because I'm a nice guy, I'll give it a clean, and uh, that'll be that. Uh, I think tonight, uh, after um, I have my dinner tonight, I'm gonna get on with this uh, Sony X, uh, Sony Ericsson um, Xperia phone. Um, again, this is a a bit of a pump this one 
Um, I think the battery needs replaced, just a, a swap out. Um, but the power button doesn't feel quite right. So we're going to have, have a look at that in a bit. I've, tried, I've put it on charge here. He didn't seem to have a charger, so whether he doesn't have the right charger at home, that would be the issue. So I'm just going to tidy this, clean this, uh, this laptop up, and we'll be back for that Sony Ericsson.